question type, we're gonna use the drag and drop option again. We're gonna click on add and then add a new question. But this time we are gonna select uh, this option here, drag and drop onto markers. Now in the previous video, we've looked at this one here, drag and drop onto image, but we're gonna use the markers option here. So if I click on that and then click on add, we are We are going to add in a question name. So, so we're going to change that, drag the words into the correct section. And what we're also then going to do is we're going to upload an image. We're going to upload a background file. Now I've already made a table and I've saved it out as an image. You may be thinking, why have I done that? Well, this question type actually allows us to drag things on to an image. So this is the table here. I've got verbs, nouns, and adjectives. So what we are going to be doing is we're going to be creating markers, and then we're going to be dragging them on to the image. Now, you could use the other option where you drag it into specific text boxes, but what you'd have to make sure is that you basically drag it into the correct box. So I'm going to click on markers and then we're going to put marker one, which we're going to then basically put a word. So my first word is accept. And we can also then say how many times we want this to appear. So I'm going to only have this appearing once. So once they've used it, they can't use it again. We're going to have acceptance again, and this is once. And then we're going to have acceptable, which is there. We're going to do a few more of these. So all I'm doing is essentially I'm just typing them in. Now you can add more in if you wanted more than six just by clicking this button here. Now, what you also need to make sure is on this example, I'm gonna make sure that my shuffle is turned on. So it'll shuffle these then into a random order. Now, once we've done the markers, we need to minimize the markers and expand the drop zones. This now is where we start to add in a place where we can actually put these markers. So the first thing I do is I choose a shape. Now, by default, we've got circle, polygon, and rectangle. Now, I would like a rectangle on this one. And the reason being is I'm going to basically say all the verbs can go anywhere in this area here, all the nouns here and all the adjectives here. Now, when we add the shape on, it's added a square just into the top corner and it's got coordinates. So what we need to do is move this square down here and expand it. Now, by default, I can't click and move this. So what I need to do is type in the coordinates here. Now, before I do that, I select a marker. So I'm gonna do accept first, which is the verb. So I need it to basically go in this box here. So, just by starting now, I'm going to put five in here, which is going to move it away from the side. And we're going to try something like 30 to move it down. Now, obviously, 30 is not enough. So, let's try a bit more. And then we're going to expand this box a little bit. So, we're going to make that from... 30 we're gonna make it say 70 no we do way more than that and then we are gonna make this then a little bit bigger there so if we say 290 we need more than that 340 too much 330 there we are that's about right Now this will take a little bit of fiddling and you will need to make sure that these numbers here will match up with what you want. The good news is obviously accept is going to go here and also achieve is also going to go into my verbs as well. The good news with that is I can then just copy the same coordinates and place them in here. It will overlap them. That's absolutely fine. And then we can go on then to the second option and the third options then respectively. So I'm just going to fast forward the video now from this part.
Okay, so we've added now all of the drop zones in for this image and we've also then put the coordinates in. The last thing that we need to do is add a tag and we're gonna put Now with this type of question, it's not actually gonna tell you which answers were correct or which answers were incorrect. So what you might need to do is add in, under the feedback here, you might want to put in the answers. So I'm just gonna drag my answers in here, which is gonna show people basically which one is right and which ones are wrong, okay? Now, once I've done that, I'm gonna click on save. And this is gonna save the work for me. Now, we've got six different items on here, but you can see the value of this is still set to one. So if I click on the little pencil icon here, put six in, press enter, it then makes sure that question then is out of six. Now, if we wanted to try this out, let's see what this question would look like. So by default here, we've got obviously verbs, nouns, and adjectives, which is great. And we've got our draggable options here. So if I put accept, I'm just gonna put it down the bottom here just to show you how this works. So if you remember, when we originally did this, it, accept was actually in the middle here of this drop zone. So I put accept there, and I'm gonna put achieve in the top over here. I'm gonna put achievement in the bottom there. I'm gonna put acceptance in the middle. And we're gonna put them in like so. And then if I finish attempt, you can see there now it's got mark six out of six because it's marked them all correct for me because I've got them in the correct order. Now what would happen, and obviously now it's showing me my feedback as well. What would happen then if we didn't or if we overlapped? Well, if I just show you now what happens, With this one, if we put, obviously we'll put achieve in here and we'll put accept then directly on top, that would still mark it probably as correct because it's still within this drop zone. But if we put acceptance, say for example, over here, and then we'll put achievement in the correct one. Now then, if we finish here, what we should find is one of them might be marked wrong let's have a look yeah so it's marked one of them wrong it will not tell me which one has been marked wrong but you can see there obviously it's got that there this is why this type of question is really important that you always try to include an answer sheet for people because this will not actually show you which one is correct or which one is incorrect